Hello, hello. What's up, Cancers? Good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are having a blessed day, baby. To my subscribers, welcome back, darlings. To those of you who are new to my channel, hello, hello. I am Lee. I will be bringing you the tea, baby. I keep it real, so I might get a little raw and reckless up in here. But my intention is to never hurt your feelings. So please take what's for you and what's not for you, baby. You leave it behind. Only take what resonates, darling. Do not apply pressure. That's my baby Rain. <laughs> uh, baby Rain is about... She was born on Valentine's Day, so... She's about 13, 14 weeks now. She's doing great. <laughs> so y'all hear all the commotion or whatever. It's because when I start talking, she wants to start talking. And she's not talking yet. So <laughs> it just comes out as a whole bunch of babble. Here we go. Spirit, ancestors, angel guys, you are welcome into the room for a general cancer read. We're going to start with what's in your heart space, baby. We will see what's in your shadow side. We'll see what's the true emotions, what's really going on. And we'll see what's in your challenge position. Where spirit goes, we will follow. Here we go, here we go. Spirit, ancestors, angel guides, messages for our cancers. Picking up on the energy of our cancers. They flying, baby. Creativity. You love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. Okay, so you may be feeling inspired. You may be feeling uh, creative. You may be um, very thoughtful. You may be a very thoughtful person. You may uh, be one of those people that think about things um, beforehand. Um people's needs may come you may think of people's needs before they even know they need it type of shit uh freedom you are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness outstanding 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 being open being open to giving being open to love being open to receive being open to life, being open to um, change, okay? Yes, yes, I'm loving it. Let's see what's going on in your shadow side, babies. Can we get one spirit ancestors? One, imposter syndrome. So, you need to take off the mask, baby. You need to open up. So, Personal growth, transformations, and letting go. So for some of you, you may not be keeping it all the way 100. Okay. Imposter syndrome. In a room full of equals, I stand in doubt. A stranger in my own triumphs. Shadows cast about. For some of you, you may not be seeing your worth or you may be um, in denial about something. Maybe didn't denial about the toad, the toad that you need to let go. Okay, the toad that you need to let go. For some of you, you're people pleasing, and that is causing you to um, not be in your full element, not be your truest self, um, doing stuff for others but not wanting to, or uh, doing things that you're not, that you don't normally do. Or uh, let's see. I wonder how much of myself I've lost in others. The pieces that remain, no one can know this. So for some of you, you're giving too much of yourself. You're giving too much of yourself. That's what the signs we usually do. Okay? Hopefully you're giving to someone who's appreciative. Because, honey... It can get dark real quick. Okay, for some of you, you need to let someone go that is not appreciative or that is just their time has ran out.
okay? Their time in your life just has ran out. Let's see what's in their true emotions for our cancers. What does cancer need to know? What do they need to hear? She landed on my head earlier, so I miss you. I miss you. I miss you, cancer. They miss you, baby. They miss you. You may miss your old self. You may miss a part of yourself that you... Um, been given away like it, it feels like you're giving too much into a person a place or a thing spiritual chaos ego death downward spiral and then a spiritual wake wake up call for some of you you may wake up into the realization that you miss something you miss something or you may wake up um thinking about someone that you miss and it's a lot it's a lot. Um, or you may pick up on the energy of someone who's missing you. Uh, for some of you, someone has secret accounts. You may have secret accounts. Someone may be stalking you online. It can be you. It can be them. Um, some type of trickery where something isn't as, a, as it seems or someone isn't as they're seen. Yep. Phony, trickster, illusion, and it's a fairy tale. Somebody lying to themselves, baby. Is it you? Is it you, baby? Getting readings. Pop the question and legal matters. Hold on, my baby just came. Okay, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Haven't seen my baby girl in like a week. <laughs> so, let's see what's in your child's position for our cancers. Picking up on the energy of our cancers, spirit ancestors, angel guides. What is in the child's position for our cancers? What do they need to know? Here we go, here we go, babies. Can we get one? Have faith. Okay, you may be losing faith in this situation. Uh, remove the doubts and questions. You are ready to step into your blessings and claim what is already yours. Okay. So have faith. Have faith in yourself. That you can move with integrity. That you can be honest with yourself and others. Um, on the bottom you have, you have special gifts. Never surrender to the norms, baby. Escape materialism. Shift your focus away from material and develop a healthier inner world. Live your dreams. Never give up on your dreams. Dare to live in the adventure and just be yourself, baby. Allow yourself to be. You do not have to prove a damn thing. Confidence will flow into you when you are divinely you. Okay, so it really feels like for some of you, you may be wearing a mask. Or you may be dealing with someone who's wearing masks. Um, there's some type of illusion going on. Uh, you may not be seeing someone or something clearly. Uh, you may be in your head, especially with this spiritual card where it looks like, like, uh, there may be some chaos going on in your mind. Some type of turmoil. Okay, love, some type of turmoil. It's time for you to be your truest self. It's time for you to be honest with yourself. It's time for you to um, come to terms that the healthiest you is the original you, the honest you, the, the, the you that you may actually be missing, actually. There's a part of you that is being, um, that you're um, not showing or not, not, The devil is the first one out and running. Knight of Swords. Uh, somebody watches. Somebody watching online. Um, the devil in reverse is releasing yourself from toxicity. Okay. Um, you may dis you may decide or be deciding or coming into the conclusion where there's some type of trickery going on where someone may um, 
be in a in an energy in a toxic energy. Uh, for some of you, you're gonna run the fuck away from this person. You gonna run fast. <laughs> For some of you, it's like, let me get the fuck away from this person. Let me show you, baby. So, someone may show you their true colors. You may decide to cut that shit off and haul ass. Haul ass. Okay? Haul ass. Something will put fire under that ass. Um, the, ooh, towards someone who ain't trying to hear that shit. Towards someone who isn't interested, no longer interested. Um, the Queen of Swords can be cold-blooded. Um, the Queen of Swords can be cold-blooded. A Queen of Swords can say things that you would never expect them to say. Hurtful things. Um... For some of you, you may be dealing with two queens. Um, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Leo, Sag, Aries. We have Capricorn. Um, so the um, so someone's trying to prob solve a problem with someone that ain't trying to hear that shit. Um, someone is no longer interested. You may no longer be interested in someone's someone's offering you a cup of, of love, a cup of emotions. You may not be interested. Um, for some of you, you are in. Somebody's bringing out, uh, or you may be bringing out. We have the Empress in the middle of the reading in reverse. Okay, the Empress in reverse. Um, so, someone may be codependent off of you, you may be codependent off of someone. Uh, for some of you, you are strongly in your masculine energy. Um, for some of you, you may need to beware, okay, that someone is really dark. Someone's really dark. Like, they're not just toxic. They have dark beliefs, okay? They may dabble in the darkness uh with the spiritual awakening the downward spiral and the ego death and the chaos it feels like someone is um can be trying to lead you down the rabbit hole um but for some of you it seems like you're gonna notice that shit and you're gonna run in another direction or you already been down the rabbit hole so you know better so you're going to move towards the light Can't even pick this shit up. What the hell? So something or someone isn't as they seem. Uh, you may be losing faith in the situation. Uh, for some of you with the Empress in reverse, it can be uh, romantic complications. Complications in a relationship, in a marriage. And some type of um, codependent situation. Um, the Seven of Wands. There's two people out here. There's one that's uninterested, don't want to be bothered. There's another one who's cold. Um, the cup is is locked away okay their emotions are locked away they are emotionless okay they're not capable of giving you the energy that you are giving um let's see let's see for our cancers spirit ancestors angel guys cancer please subscribe Please hit the like button, baby. Send me a little message. Let me know what's up with the what's up, baby. Okay. Talk to me nice. I read those, baby. 
So we have the three of cups. We we have someone in a situation ship. In a situation ship. Somebody may be trying to um bust your bubble. Um Someone may be feeling trapped in a situation. You may be feeling trapped in a situation. You, If it really feels like you know better, it feels like you've done it before and you know better. See how she's looking into the mirror at a time where she was in the dark? No longer being in that dark. Okay? No longer being in that dark. Somebody is up in their head. Somebody may be listening to other people. Someone may be trying to people please. Someone may be um, listening, like getting advice, getting the wrong advice. Um, someone may be making that shit up as they go. And the lovers in reverse. Definitely relationship complications. It's just time for self-love. Okay, it's time for self-love. It's time for you to realize what it is. Or who it is or how it is and to be honest about it because as of it feels like an illusion phony trickster illusion the first one out was the devil self-love removing yourself going into hermit mode for um, soul searching okay in order to realize what is this new beginning with the ace of Pentacles it's a new material beginning. It could be a new job. It could be a new house. It could be a new car. It can be a new position. It can be it can be whatever. Weighing out your options. Um because the nine of pentacles is single. Being single, being able to plant the seeds that you need in your life in order to grow into or be able to um harvest the fruits of your labor. Someone is thinking about this a lot. Someone is thinking about ending something that they thought was a wish fulfillment and moving toward someone who's sad, someone who walked away, and offering stability. Okay, moving on, moving on. Moving on to the witches for our cancers. Out here you have Gemini. You have Pisces, you have um, Leo, Sag, Aries, Capricorn, um, that's what we have so far, here we go babies, here we go babies, we got the lovers, first one out again, this time upright, so someone has unrealistic expectations in a relationship, that's going to cause them lifetime consequences. Karma, baby. Karma. For some of you, it's time to make a decision. It feels like someone is going to release themselves from some toxic shit and haul ass in another direction. Okay. Uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles. To make an offering. Yeah. What's good, Cancer? Someone may be trying to give you an offering. You may be trying to give someone an offering and it's a no. It's a no. So someone is feeling empty. Someone's cup is empty. Someone is giving, 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 but they're not receiving the love that they deserve in return. Uh, it feels like someone made a bad choice. Someone may have chosen someone else and left you feeling empty. Left you feeling like you gave so much and it didn't work. For some of you, you would just notice and realize that someone is fake and that the situation is fake and rehaul ass in the other direction. Okay, um... The Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady. Slow and steady. The Page of Pentacles is sending out a message. So for some of you, you may get a message um, 
it feels like for some of you, you'll be getting some type of new, um, um, a new opportunity to make some money or or some something materialistic someone's offering something materialistic someone's sending it out a message about something materialistic something that has to do with your finances your pentacles your structure your stability okay let's see let's see or our cancers, for some of you, you may be getting a raise or a promotion. Uh, the Knight of Wands in reverse is the player player from the Himalayas. So someone may be in their masculine energy or you may be causing someone to be in their masculine energy or someone may be causing you to be in your masculine energy because someone's a player player. Someone's flighty. Someone's in and out. Someone is not as they seem. This whole damn reading is like someone is not as they seem. Someone misses you. You miss someone. For some of you, you miss home. Here we go. Here we go. You miss being happy. You miss the clarity. Um, you miss when you was in your little bubble. When it wasn't dramatic. When it wasn't drama. When it wasn't bullshit. When you were able to not have to deal with people, places, and things that didn't have good intentions for you, uh, you let someone get close, and uh, so it looks like um, like someone wants to be happy. The sun is happiness. The sun is clarity. The sun is optimism. The sun is renewal, enlightenment, healthy. Okay, healthy, being healthy. Okay, loves being healthy, being healthy, uh, loving yourself because that Ace of Cups is in reverse. That Ace of Cups in reverse is not a good thing. That's feeling empty. That's feeling depleted. Okay. Okay. The lovers is Gemini. The sun is Leo. Uh, the five of cups. So someone is sad. Someone feels like some, there was a loss. There's a loss. There's a loss, there's a pause. Uh, for some of you, someone may have left you hanging. You may have left somebody hanging. Um, someone has walked away. Someone is sad because someone decided to walk away. Uh, someone walked away from something that they actually care about. Because there's eight cups, they all standing. See here, there's five of them on the floor. Okay, someone is feeling the loss of someone they cared about. With temperance on the bottom of the deck, it feels like someone needs to get grounded. Someone needs to come back down to earth, baby. Someone needs to come back down to earth because somebody's in la la land. Um, the five of swords. Somebody playing mind games. Um, someone's playing mind games. Someone's giving more than they're receiving. Someone been working hard on the situation because they thought that this someone was their soulmate. But there's things under the moon that they do not know. This shit has become burdensome. This shit is a heartbreak. And it's time to think about your next move. You want to be successful, but the shit is about to hit the fan and something's going to come to an end with the world. You want to manifest the life that you desire, but um, someone is going about it in a hostile way. Um, someone misses their stability, their foundation, somebody watching from the sideline, time to follow your intuition. Um, and decide to work well with others, stand your ground, and make the offer. Okie dokie, okie dokie. We're moving on to the Lover's Oracles for our Cancers. Here we go, here we go. Somebody playing mind games, baby. Somebody is in who they seem. Something is in it, what it seems. Okay, you may not even be recognizing yourself anymore. It feels like you miss a part of yourself. Uh, something about you, something, something that ain't, something that ain't up to part right now. 
Uh, we got spiritual awakening. Regret. Third party situation. Interference, cheating, competition, the mistress. Spiritual awakening. Enlightenment, epiphany, life lessons, and a rebirth. For some of you, someone is going through a life lesson. It can be you, it can be them. I don't know your life, baby, okay? But somebody definitely regret whatever the fuck is going on or what happened or how it happened or who it happened or however. Mistake, guilt, wrong choice, apology. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck, you have ghosted. Disappear, silence, ignored, rejected. Okay, for some of you, someone, you may ghost someone or someone may ghost you. Then we have date, courting, dating, anniversary meetup, a proposal, and deciding to surrender to your soulmate. Reconciliation. Okay, new love, honeymoon phase, childlike, moving on, new beginnings, because you're at the crossroad, there's a secret crush, it's time to change, send an unexpected message to the ex-lover, between the lines, deciding to travel, because you feel heartbroken, and this is all happening because of some type of decision that was made that was not, um... It was not, um, I want to say real. I want to say real. So, let's see what's over here hidden in the dark. What's hidden in the dark for our cancers? What's hidden in the dark? What does cancer need to know? Spirit, ancestors, angel, guys. It's time to be happy, baby. So you need to be for real with yourself. And you need to self-love because we got the overall energy on the bottom of the... Oh, excuse me. Of the Lice years is the Ace of Cups. But in the actual reading, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Empty. Feeling empty. Feeling empty regardless of whatever is going on. Hopefully coming into the conclusion that something is a fairy tale. Something is bullshit. Uh, stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. And the clock is ticking. Tick, 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 tick. Okay, let's get two more. For our cancers, not enough. Frustrated in relationship. Lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Okay, can we get one more for our cancers? Can we get one more for our cancers? Uh, abundance. Keep a positive mindset, baby. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. On the bottom of the deck, we have a girl with a snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used. Enable boundaries. The Grim Reaper. It's time to put this shit to an end. It's come as far as it needs to come. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Cassette. Outdated thinking, conditioning. Replaying events over and over in your head. Photograph. Looking at your photos. Missing you. Nostalgia. Making new memories. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. Which is that devil in reverse. Okay. It was the first thing out. It was the first thing out. So, let's see what may be coming up in romance. Coming up in romance for our cancers, spirit ancestors, angel guides. What messages do we have for our cancers? What's coming up, baby? Heart-to-heart uh, -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay? Be honest, baby, with yourself and others. Always. Okay? Always, always, always with good intentions, getting it done. Moving forward and up. Being honest with yourself, being honest with another. Being honest with your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So, for some of you, you may need to be having a conversation with someone. Okay? Uh, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Codependency on the bottom of the deck. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. 
A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Okay. So. Something is worth waiting for. Um, there needs to be a conversation. A heart to heart conversation. Let's get you some advice for our cancers. We'll get you three. We'll get you some messages from your soulmate, from the zodiac. We'll answer your questions. We'll get you some fortune cookies. Whoa, that's way too many. You need a lot of advice, baby. <laughs> it seems like you need a lot of advice, baby. What's really going on, darling? Let me know in the comments below. Yes, yes. Let me know what's up with you, baby. Can we get three for our cancers? Can we get three? Advice for our cancers. Don't take this for granted. Uh, the, the vote. The vote. Don't take this for granted. Maybe there shall be a leave someday. If you are not paying any attention and noticing how things are serving you or how hurtful this person is to you at the moment. Heartful. Maybe there shall be a leave someday. If you are not paying attention and noticing how things are serving you or how heartful this person is to you at this moment. It says devote. Really. You have been working hard, but this situation requires a little more effort. You almost reached the goal. Keep it up. But for some of you, it feels like you need to, to run. <laughs> or it feels like you're going to run. Okay? It feels like you were, you're going to run. Or you need to run. It say set boundaries, baby. This probably protects you from absorbing too much into unnecessary energies and preserve your true state of mind. Yeah, because that spiritual card is like his... The <laughs> Oh, shit, I think I, I actually made it look that way in there. Uh, keep it to yourself. You have brilliant and outstanding ideas with an unconventional style. So before you round up and perform it, keep it a secret to prevent yourself from judgment or competitive energies. Keep shit to yourself, baby. Everybody ain't happy for you. Everybody don't need to know. Everything ain't for everybody. Okay, darlings? Everything ain't for everybody. So, go ahead and think of your questions. I'll give you a moment. I'll give you three answers. You can ask one question. You can ask two questions. You can ask three questions. Think about your questions. And while I give you a moment, please subscribe. Please hit the like button, baby. Send me a message if you want to let me know what's up with the what's up. Let's help each other help each other by telling a friend to tell a friend. Tell tea with Lee, baby. I'm going to always bring you the tea, baby. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. We'll get three answers for our cancers. Answers for our cancers. If you believe. If you believe, baby. Believe in yourself first and foremost, baby. Believe in the divine that they got your back, baby. Within the next few weeks, uh, meditation always brings answers. And remain positive. Okay, darlings. Okay, darlings. So, let's get you a fortune cookie to take along with you on your soul journey. Oh, wait. I forgot to give you your messages from your soulmates. Hold on. Okay, dokie. We're going to... Uh, soulmate messages from the Zodiac. Messages from your Zo from your soulmate starting with the water signs baby starting with the water signs for cancer starting with Pisces Pisces for cancer messages soulmate message for cancer spirit ancestors angel guys this is on there is only you in my mind and in my heart I'm not gonna show them because you can't see them they pink and they light and it's a mission so take my word for it baby Cancer for cancer, cancer for cancer, cancer, 
Whenever I see flowers, I think of you. I want you to be happy, even if that means being without me. You only take your one. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Scorpio for Cancer. Scorpio for Cancer. Can we get one? You are the only one who gets me without me saying anything. Okie dokie. Gemini. Gemini for Cancer. Gemini for Cancer. Can we get one? Gemini for Cancer. So many things remind me of you. It's crazy. Uh, Aquarius. Aquarius for Cancer. Aquarius for Cancer. Aquarius, thank you for being so patient with me. Libra. 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 Your honesty and vulnerability scares me and allures me at the same time. Capricorn. Capricorn for Cancer. Can we get one? Capricorn for Cancer. Can we get one? I dropped this one. Uh, thank you for teaching me what real love is. Um, uh, Taurus. Taurus for Cancer. Taurus for Cancer. Taurus. I can feel all the love you are sending me and it's electrifying. Uh, you bring out the best in me. Ooh la la. Uh, Virgo. Virgo for cancer. Virgo. Thank you for being there for me when I needed it the most. Sagittarius. Sagittarius for cancer. So mess. Soulmate message. Sagittarius. Um, I love that I can be myself around you. And I don't trust easily. But with you, I feel so safe and accepted. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, Leo, Leo for Cancer, Leo for Cancer, can we get one, Leo, I remember the first day we met, it was like yesterday, Aries, Aries for Cancer, Aries for Cancer, can we get one, Aries, your beauty is so captivating that I forget to blink, on the bottom of the deck baby it says, I feel life, I feel like I've known you all my life. Yet you are so mysterious. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. <laughs> Okie dokie, babies. Those were your messages from the Zodiac. Soulmate messages from the Zodiac. So let's get you your fortune cookies, baby, to take along the way in your soul's journey. Spirit, ancestors, angel guides, can we get three fortune cookies for our cancers? Can we get three? Here we go, babies. Nature. Intuition. Follow your intuition, baby. Um, sunshine and commitment. Uh, intuition. Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money. Sunshine, the sun is shining on you. Career and business grow fabulous. Communication in relationship. Nature. Uh, interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for you, the soul, and healing for you. Commitment. Uh, commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. On the bottom of the deck, you have society. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interest for singles will be the result. And that was your tea, baby. Smooches.